You talked about the other night when Washington came in, what happens when you beat a team at home. Was this another one of those examples? Yeah. How did the team do and it? I, we, we talked about it. How can we do a better job of, of growing from that experience? And I thought we started off early with the right mindset. And uh, just communication breakdown after communication breakdown crushed us. Uh, but I got some good film to watch, <laughs> and uh, we got some stuff that we could teach off of. But uh, tonight was a big, big, uh, huge communication game, and we didn't take care of that. How concerned are you with uh, Tim's injury? I'm not concerned. They, they said uh, they, the x-rays was negative, so that's a, that's a good thing. The defense on the perimeter it seemed like Brooklyn did a pretty good job from behind the arc. Was that a communication thing, too, or what would you see there? From Maybe our that? defense on the perimeter? Yeah, I just think that any time they ran any kind of screening situation and, and they slipped out, like it was just like a pause there where our guys both went blank. Um, and that pause against them is a three. Um, you know, give them credit. They really run their stuff with an incredible motor. Um, you can see connection between those guys that's been around each other for a little while. Um, yeah, their guards did a great job of making the right play uh, to the open man. And so, um, you know, we just got to clean that stuff up where we're sharper with our communication. Um, again, that's just trust, building trust. Um, you know, saying the right thing, <laughs> you know, because uh, they're learning a, a new language. And, uh, you know, like I said, it just gives us good film uh, to teach these kids off of. What did you see from uh, Frank, especially on the offensive? Oh, I thought, he had, again, another solid performance. Um, you know, I think you can see how I'm using him now. It, it gives him a lot of... Uh, you know, you try to use all of his gifts. Um, you know, I even, like I said, I told you, I throw him on the floor today. Um, and he made a mistake. He fronted the post in transition and got it thrown over the top. But overall, I thought he did a good job uh, of competing at that position, you know, when teams go smaller. Um, you know, I mean, that's, again, this is a lot of this stuff is putting guys in a situation for the first time and just seeing how they do. And, uh, you know, overall, I thought he had a, a really sound game. But you have several days now before the opener. Have you figured out the point guard puzzle? It seems. No, we're going to talk about it some more. Um, we're going to really give it a hard evaluation uh, over the next day or two. Um, just looking at the combinations of guys, um, studying some analytical stuff, uh, getting back into the film, uh, and really watching each point guard and, and what they bring to the table. Um, but, you know, I, I, either way it goes, I feel really comfortable putting them all out there. Um, I feel like they all show the ability to uh, to run the team and, and uh, play solid minutes, and they guarded their position well. So, um, you know, they made it tough on me, which is good. Um, knowing the, that the league is a three-point uh, driving league, and you guys have taken only 21 shots off, like, yeah. like, is that an aspect of the game that you're going to work on um, for the team? Three-point shooting? Yes. Getting more threes? Yes. I'd like to, but right now, the way we're shooting it, I don't think that's a great shot for us. <laughs> you know, everybody can try to be Golden State, but you got to have the personnel to actually do it. And, you know, right now, I think we got to uh, get to where we understand our offense and our spacing, um, understand how to move without the basketball, the execution and timing of our offense. And as we get shots out of that offense, uh, and guys start to learn where their shots are coming from. I think those percentages will go up, and I think the attempts will go up some, too. Uh, but right now, I'm not really concerned with the fact that we're not shooting 30, 40 a game because that's just not a great shot for us right now to be putting up that many. Well, Dave, uh, what analytics are you going to be looking at when you're trying to value this? I ain't card? giving you my my <laughs> goodies, man. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to be looking at a bag of numbers. That's what I was <laughs> Just indiscriminate numbers. No, I got some good numbers I'm going to look at, but I ain't giving them all to you. But what numbers, like what numbers matter when you're trying to evaluate preseason? Well, I mean, I'll I tell you, the, the one thing I'll tell you and give you is I'm obviously going to look at group production, um, you know, which groups were, you know, had the best offensive and defensive efficiency together, um, you know, which groups played the best together. That was, that's the obvious one just from a number standpoint, but – the rest of it, you can, you can guess. <laughs> uh, Kevin Knox uh, really struggled again. How comfortable yeah. are you starting him? In the I mean, this, if we got, he's got to go through it. Okay. You know, I mean, uh, this, this is, uh, 
this year is exactly for this. You know, and I said it in the press, he's got to take his lumps. That's part of the deal. You're a 19-year-old coming in, uh, and you jump into a man's league, and you really uh, you got to go through that, that growth process. And struggles are a part of it. Um, and so I think he'll handle it fine. He'll, he'll keep getting in the gym, getting the work done. I need to do more to help him. Uh, but his focus and his attention is in the right place, and I think he'll pull himself out of this. But this is expected. I just, you know, who knows when the slumps hit rookies. You know, sometimes they hit them early. Sometimes they hit them right after Christmas. Sometimes they do both. <laughs> you know, they go through a few of them. So uh, all of this is good experience for them no matter what. David, you split with the Nets in preseason. Um, how much can you take away from these two games to prepare for the Nets next week? Well, uh, you know, right now, I, honestly, I'm not even thinking about them. And uh, these games are much more about preparing, you know, getting our team better at what we do. Um, not as much about our opponent right now. Um, you know, we, we will put time into preparing for our opponent as we always do. But I, I'm, right now, I would say, you know, a big chunk of just this year in general is about developing our players, developing our system, you know, our habits, things like that. So we can't get overly concerned with uh, opponent to opponent every single night because those games are going to come fast for this young team. And I don't want them caught up in trying to every team they face it's like okay now what do they do what do they do when we don't even know what we do <laughs> so i want to get us to a place where we really understand our system our guys we have a connection uh with each other and and, and then we'll face the team in other uniform you've been saying um you know guys have to earn their spots and especially in the starting lineup has Kevin played well enough to earn a starting spot, or is he an no? He, to that? He's he's been up and down. I think he's shown the ability to start in the first two games uh, with the double doubles. Uh, in the last three, stunk. Um, but for that position and what we're trying to grow there, I think he's what we want to put in that spot um, and just let him go through the hell of it and get beat up and have some success and all of that stuff. Um, you know. But like I said, it's not permanent. And if, it, if it's something where a guy continues to struggle, it's on me to help him. And sometimes shifting the lineup helps guys. Um, you know, but they all know that it's, it's going to be all year. This, you got to continue to fight and battle for what you get. Coach, when, when, you, when you look at Noah's game, uh, Von Lee's game, he seems to pick up fouls more on the, on the offensive side out there. What, what's your assessment of him? What does he He's have to physical, do? man. He just he's really physical and, and you know, sometimes he throws those big shoulders around and they just they run into people. And uh you know, we I'd rather have to tone him down than to have to amp him up and he's a very I, I like the way he brings it on both ends of the floor. He really competes. Um, you know, he he like I said, he gives us a nice little mix of uh Ennis's physicality, but you know, he does some other things different uh than Ennis. So uh, you know, we'll coach it up. And, and try to get them to not foul as much, but at the same time, I'm not going to back them off of that effort.